Welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. And yes, this is a special one. It is not that Friday feeling. Oh, no, 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 no. It's that Christmas Eve feeling. It happens to be on a Thursday because I thought, well, Friday, I'm going to be busy with the family and everything else. And I still wanted to get a video out there to bring that happy feeling. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, I think we're going to start on the Tiger Moth and we're going to fire up today. Yes, I'm not going to put the wings on. not going to put the cowl on. We're going to see... If my fueling works <laughs> and then we're going to fire up outside because inside you saw what happened last time I just got smoked out and we'll have a talk about what I did a few things um, and if all that works we're ready to sort of build it together and uh, probably not today it would be New Year's Eve now we were doing a show on New Year's Eve and um, we put the wings on and um, let's just get to it anyway come on Alrighty, um, can you believe it was snowing in the hangar? So, <laughs> anyway, I, I thought, well, let's, uh, you know, let's make sure I've got no leaks. Let's make sure things fill up. Now, I know what I did do, um, that obviously I've not prepared for, is I did cover the, um, what did I cover? The carburetor. I covered the, well, carburetor, I suppose you call it carburetor still. Um, I covered it up so nothing fell into it. So I've got a bit of blend them. Should have just done it before the video, really. But I just only remembered. So, got a bit of blend them off. That would have been kind of funny, really, wouldn't it? Wouldn't have worked. <laughs> am I anxious? Yes, I am. So, but this is. We're going to try. I'm really hoping this is going to work and it doesn't leak everywhere. If it leaks everywhere, then it is what it is. If it doesn't... I think, I think we should get you at a better angle, don't you think? Just to see if we can see some fuel going on. That'd be better, wouldn't it? So you can tell me if it's leaking everywhere. Hold tight. Up close and personal. To the Sato engine. Mm. Oh yes, the sexy, sexy Sato. Right. So I'm hoping that it's not going to start leaking out here, for a start. Um, now the electronics are off. The propeller is on. So uh, hopefully I'm going to get it the right way round, and, and it's not going to fly everywhere. So let me get. Uh, let me just get some cloth. All right, I got me blue cloth, just in case. I don't know, something comes out the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I, I'm nervous. I really don't know why I'm nervous. It's just a bit of fuel, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I think it's my wife's fault. She goes, do you really have to fire this up on Christmas Eve? <laughs> she goes, I don't want to be put down the hospital for the rest of Christmas Eve. No, we don't. So it's just, I don't know. I think she, she knows that it just scares the life out of me. <laughs> Right, so let's, uh, let's, we've got charge, we've got charge. Okay, let's, uh, are we sucking? I think it's going in, is it going in the bottle? Oh, I'm not sure. Hang on, I don't think we're having action for some reason. All oh, right, it was, uh, I don't know, the pump just had a funny five seconds. So let's um, let's do it again and see if I can see some fuel coming around. That's definitely fuel going through. Is it filling in the tank? Yes, it is. It's filling the tank. Come on. So we know my little copper tubing works. Fantastic. Right, that is near enough a full tank. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, that works. My little, my little scale piping works. If I put the cap back on, we'll see if it sucks out later on. 
Oh, I'm really happy about that. That's, that's made my day, that is. That's working. Now, with the fuel off, can I get the fuel running through the... Uh, to the engine? Might need to open the, the throttle a bit manually here. It's the only problem that when when I, when when we got the cowl off, how am I going to sort of make sure it gets fuel? Oh, it's got fuel in there. It's got fuel in there. Okay. Did no one tell me that there was fuel in there? Because you can't see, can you? Oh, can I get that in there? You can't really in there, but. Look, that is, that, that's the little um, fuel filter, and there's fuel in there. That means one thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're going outside. We're back outside the hangar today. It got too smoky in there last time, so I thought, you know, I'll grab my daughter. She can hold the extra camera so I can speak to you. I've got a camera looking at the prop and a camera in the seat. She's all held back with a bit of wood just in case she wants to fly forward into my chest. The battery is connected from below. Um, I've got my throttle cut on, which I'm about to release. See where we are. Just open a little bit to get some fuel in there. Um, let's just get it around. We're using this safety, and then we're going to press our button, which is our contact button. Yeah, it's a bit scary actually because it's around the wrong way, but contact. Okay, a bit more fuel, a bit, open it up a bit more. Good set. We know that the throttle cut works. I'm back in the hangar. Oh my golly gosh, what is it with me? <laughs> First of all, I'll smoke out the place. The second time, I kind of cut up the uh, the gazebo table cover. My wife's not going to forgive me. Don't tell her, please. Anyway, so fantastic. Um, she fired up, which is a brilliant thing. Um, the fuel system works, which is another brilliant thing. Now, one thing that uh, I think that I've got to look at, which I kind of done a mistake, I'm not sure, is on this valve, um, it's it's a two-way valve, and me and my wisdom didn't think that, obviously, how am I going to get fuel back out again? So how am I going to empty the tank? Uh, so this only goes one way. So, slight mishap, so what I could do is I could make a T-junction and, or whatever, and put one under here, because that is kind of like scale as well. Uh, for now, what I'll probably have to do is intervene with the pipe somewhere to get the fuel out. But that's not a biggie. Um, that is really, really not a biggie. Um, it didn't make much sense what I was saying earlier on um, about, the, um, about the cow being on. Now, normally when the cow's off, you can put your finger over the carburetor and suck. So it sucks fuel. Um, but I think with the uh, fuel in the um, fuel cleaner, um, oh, brain's gone. Uh, fuel cleaner, fuel cleaner, can't remember. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. <laughs> Someone <laughs> walked over my grave. Stop doing that, please. Um, yeah, the fuel cleaner, I can't remember what it's called anyway. Go, going through that um, and fuel filter, I remembered. Hey! Um, it's staying in the fuel, 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 fuel filter, it's okay. So, I mean, all in all, that's pretty good. Now, a couple of things that I did that, you, that I said about last time. So, here's a couple of pictures. First of all, here's a picture of the rudder. I changed the, I uh, got some horns. Um, some, this is not a Dubro, the other's a Dubro. This, I can't remember the make now, but it's got four screws, so it's a lot stronger. Um, I changed that. Um, and here is the elevators. So both of these are changed. So I've got rid of them kind of slot, I don't know what they are, slot horns, you know, they're just coming loose. Um, these are the same, uh, this is Dubro, but a different kind of uh, make. 
um, and obviously I had the Dubro um, on the on the um, wings as well on the ailerons um, and then I just put some covers on these are the ones you get a pack of three and, <laughs> and uh, you cut them down file them down leaving enough surface they uh, scratch the surface on the bottom with some um, uh, with some sandpaper um, and then I just use some five minute epoxy and they glue on nicely so there you go um, she's basically finished um, I've got my fishing wire um, for the wings that uh, people have been saying to use it's just a matter of finesse um, inside I've still got a 3d print my little uh, thing for the receiver uh, but as you can see the receiver works fine um, and <laughs> this is this is the importance especially with a fuel engine of having uh, a power cut uh, a power cut off a throttle cut sorry let's get that right because it's quite important always make a throttle cut that's the first thing I do in any to when I'm testing all these uh, all these airplanes is that I have the throttle cut which is just a switch that takes the the percentage down to minus 99 so it's going to be off and what I've done on the carburetor I've just got to tinker it a bit is that the carburetor is fully fully closed at uh, uh, at that point um, so it just uh, starts it from air and it will stop the engine so that was quite uh, it's quite crazy it scared the life out of me and typical on a windy day I should have bolted not bolted but clipped that uh, cover down um, but but hey it was kind of fun anyway um, as you see for the camera angle I love my little camera in the back seat which is in here um, I reckon that's it's, it's kind of wobbly and I don't know if it's the interference of the engine or what it is but um, that's going to be interesting uh, when we do do our maiden because what that would be one of the camera views that I want because it's uh, almost like you're in the pilot seat um, yeah not much else to, to talk about really I mean she's really re ready I'm going to put the cowling on um, put everything together basically um, for New Year's Eve and we'll do a, another fire up I reckon uh, just to make sure she's all uh, ready to rock and roll for the maiden next year um, and then uh, she can go into sort of kind of storage well not storage um, but she, then she goes the big tick of finished you know and then I just tinker around you know just do, do some bits and pieces like this tape around the window screen I think it's where I took it on and off when I was playing about it's just coming a bit loose so it's almost like I need to I need to get a, a, a paintbrush or something and just paint it in some sort of uh, lacquer or something but I am going to try and see if I can uh, spray paint you know use some um, airbrush uh, because like the back seat here is is not got a sticker on um, why I don't know um, there was also uh, you can't really see here but there's also in here there is uh, a couple of screws that, that hold the canopy down um, there's, but uh, I don't know if I want to do that and I did see in, the, in a forum that they've put uh, some magnets at the back that holds that down so I might do something like that rather than uh, making it kind of unscaled having these little bolts the little, the little screw bolts on the side I, I don't know yet I, I don't know um, let's see uh, see what uh, tickles my fancy I might even try something else um, but yeah I think that that is it so if you are building this as well that's that's brilliant one more thing one more thing uh, let me show you this uh, this uh, website well, picture of this website I found somewhere that makes the uh, kind of a replica undercarriage for a tiger moth basically scale now it is it's not it is pricey I suppose um, but then again you know if it's uh, if it you know there's been some stories about the tiger moth undercarriage being quite weak when she hits the floor and uh, I'd rather spend a bit of extra money on some undercarriage that's not going to sort of collapse and then end up in the belly and your uh, sato engine and prop and everything else all ends up in the dirt so if you look at it that way then it's an investment anyway um i mean no my luck i'm going to crash on the maiden <laughs> hope not fingers crossed eh? fingers crossed anyway it is christmas eve um so if you don't celebrate christmas then enjoy your holiday and have some fun today you know there's a uh, so much horribleness going about with this stupid pandemic um, you know in the UK it's getting worse and worse again um, so you know every little time that you can enjoy yourself uh, you've got to find that bit of bit of feeling and you've also got the Dazazi hangar Friday feeling to give you their little lift that you need um, in this case it's a Thursday feeling because it's Christmas Eve 2020 so but if you do celebrate celebrate Christmas just like me then Merry Christmas to every one of you. You know, I'm nearly up to 500 subscribers now. 
subscribers, which is fantastic. You know, let's try, you know, an extra 27, I think it is, and then I'm at that 500 mark. And uh, hopefully I'll get that before the new year, which will be really great. And start the new year off uh, on the right foot uh, with 500 plus uh, for all the maidens, for all the planes. Um, you know, sort of like, you know, next, oh, the, over January, we've got the build of the Tiger Moth. No, no, not Tiger Moth, we booked the Tiger Moth. <laughs> They've been a MiG-29 with the next baby. Yes. Looking forward to that. She's a big girl, so uh, that'd be really interesting. But anyway, listen. Thanks for spending your Christmas Eve time, um, or maybe you've waited till Christmas Day, and uh, you know when everyone's uh, had all that food inside them, um, and uh, can sit down and chill out and relax. That you might want to watch a movie, uh, and your type of movie is Dad's RC Hangar. So I appreciate your time in taking your time to watch one of these videos um, and for anyone who watches these videos that has a hard time out there then I hope I can cheer you up a bit and um, and you know I pray for everyone and one of you every one of you um, that uh, your life is good all right all right so on that note Merry Christmas have fun and be safe and thanks for popping by now See you on New Year's Eve. Ta-da now.